Hello everyone! It is a sad day indeed. Um, because we've got to do a moment of silence. Because we lost, definitely, without a doubt, the most famous um, child actor, actress, star of all time. There's no question about it. She passed away last night at the age of 85. She was born April 23rd, 1928. We're talking about Shirley Temple Black. Shirley Temple, so famous she's even got a drink named after her. Little Moppet Shirley Temple started uh, movies in 1934. Very famous for the song on the good ship Lollipop. Amazing little lady. No doubt about it. Didn't hear a whole lot of negative things about her growing up or anything like that. You know, she wasn't one of those child stars that went into um, terrible things and stuff like that. Yeah. Shirley Temple definitely will be sorely missed. 85 years old, just short of 86. And uh, definitely, without a doubt, moment of silence for the late, great Shirley Temple. She will definitely be sorely missed and never forgotten. Folks, we cannot have a down-in-the-dump show because it is time to live life. And folks, hello, everyone. It is indeed Tuesday, February 11th, in the year of our Lord, 2014. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. Hey, it's two for Tuesday, so you get two babes, two hunks, two beers, two songs, and a whole lot more. Lots of fun. And folks, a lot more action on our um, Valentine's Day um couples contest as well as our celebrities couples contest vote 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 all pictures are in they're in the albums vote who do you want to win you should only vote once pick a pick and vote on it and folks that are in the contest share that picture with your friends get them to like your picture as well or friends of friends share your favorite friends picture and get them to solicit votes. Come to the Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page. Lots of fun. Well, folks, like I said, two for Tuesday. Only three more days to fit in a Friday. That's what I'm talking about. All righty. Been watching the Olympics. Lots of great stuff going on. And today's show, boys, girls, and it's, it is brought to you by my man, my buddy, Lightning Mike Gore, a fellow blues fan. From Oklahoma, he is a Yankees fan. I guess he can't have everything. But he's a hell of a photographer. Red 5 Photography. Check them out on the old Facebook. Red 5 Photography. Good stuff. Good photography. Lives in Oklahoma. Worked with him down here in Yeehaw, Texas. It pretty much is southern Oklahoma. I mean, come on. Well, Lightning Mike Gore, you better be watching, brother. And uh, hope you enjoy the show. Folks, go pay his page a visit, will ya? And by golly, probably vous français, je ne peux pas français très bien, but Marseille Provence, France, for our today's beer consumption apparatus, and today's first beer of the day is a Sam Adams that I have never seen until just recently, never had it before. Who'd ever thought I'd have seen Sam Adams for the first time in this brand down here in Yeehaw, Texas? Sam Adams, Rebel IPA. Well, go figure, Rebel. Hmm, Texas Rebel, yeehaw. Um, West Coast style, brewed for the revolution. Hmm, what revolution are they talking about? Don't know. Of course, the pride of Boston, Massachusetts, the greatest city in the world, greatest state in the nation. Without Massachusetts, it wouldn't be in America. Perry died in a freaking story. Look at that, 6.5% of... Um, 6.5% alcohol by volume. Definitely above average in strength, as most IPAs are. Proper beer winning apparatus, proper technique. Here we go. And as always, 45 to Granger right into the big assumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Haven't spilled a drop yet. Never have, never will. Lots of citrus and grapefruit in this one, so my wife would probably like this beer. She's a citrusy, fruity kind of girl. Not that kind of fruity, you wackos. Um, interesting. Big citrus and grapefruit flavors with subtle pine notes for a flavorful, refreshing brew. Interesting. Five different varieties of hops, including Amarillo. Mmm. Yeehaw, Texas. 
Well, cheers the best all of you process say in Germany, goodbye as they say in Japan. Pretty good IPA. Not bad at all. I'll give it a B. A good beer indeed. And I'm not a big IPA guy, but this is a good one. Sam Adams. Haven't had a beer by Sam Adams that I didn't like. Think globally, drink locally. Folks, there are a plethora of birthdays to get to today. And I'm going to start right off with a milestone birthday. A year ago today, we were um, hanging out. Wharf Restaurant and Pub, Eggertown, Massachusetts. My dear friend, total sweetheart, Kristen Tidmarsha Rujo. Now, here's a lovely lady that, uh, ah, Kristen, it's a milestone birthday for you now. You ain't afraid to tell your age. You're my age now. Bodhi, baby. That's what I'm saying. She don't look 40 either. Not even close. She's a fine outstanding graduate of Mises Vineyard Regional High School class of 1992. With my brother and her wonderful husband, Jay, lives right down, right up the street from us, Midland Avenue here in Massachusetts. We've known Jay since, my brother and I have known Jay Arujo since we were fetuses, practically. Kristen, happy birthday to you, my friend. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I know you're going to watch. And tell Jay hello for me. And definitely thoughts and prayers are out to our dear friend, Benji Arujo, who just passed away, I found out. Last night, oh man, oh man, I'm shocked. So sad to hear that. Ben Arujo, 37 years old, much too young. I don't even know what happened. And just tragic. And I remember him since he was a fetus. Summer Street, Vineyard Haven, Massachusetts, street over from us, you know. As a kid, cancer survivor. But, so Kristen, my heart's out to the Arujo family, to your family. But at the same time, by golly. Congrats on the milestone birthday. And do as Ben would do. Live it up. By golly, because that's what he would want. That's what we all want. And by golly, Kristen. Love you, girl. Have a wicked awesome day. And party hide and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you. And hope you enjoy the show. And Jay, miss you, buddy. Love you, brother. Enjoy, my man. Enjoy. And Jay, take it from the love doctor. Don't forget to spoil your better half. Mm-hmm. Happy wife makes for a happy life. So I'm saying. All right. Well, next on the list, we've got a milestone birthday as well. But she's a bit younger. Half the age. My dear friend, Laura Clark. A recent addition to the Mafia Wars crew, Mafia Wars family, straight, straight spite united. The, the best day of Mafia Wars family on the old Facebook. And Laura Happy milestone birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Always appreciate the help on the Mafia Wars. Told you Strays Fight United is the best Mafia Wars family out there. Mm-hmm. Hey, teamwork makes the dream work. And by golly, no longer a teeny bopper. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Potty high and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list. This man celebrating a milestone birthday. Roland Clark. Uh, Roland Mike, excuse me, Mike. <laughs> Roland Mike. Um, Roland, happy birthday to you. Another Mafia Wars man. And uh, brother, ha, ha, hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the show. Definitely a big milestone birthday for you, huh? Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that at all, my man. Milestone birthdays are ultra cool and totally. Michel Genio, French for Wicked Awesome. And Roland, hope you have a Wicked Awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And cheers and beers to you. <coughs> Squeeze me. Next on the list, my man, Ryan Phillips. Ryan is a comical nav wizard. I worked with an in jolly old England. A great man indeed. A walking brain. And a great leader of men, women, and it's Ryan, happy birthday to you, brother. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy today's beer and song of the day. Big and E. You better. Two for Tuesday. You get more bang for your buck. Hey, you ain't paying no bucks because it's all free, brother. Miss you, bud. Hope you enjoy the show and celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list. Happy birthday to my dear friend, Larissa Moore. That's right. No longer Lillard. She got married last year. I know her from jolly old England. A cop in jolly old England. And like me, 
last a few years ago. We went to Bible camp. Remember that? You remember that, Larissa? Oh, yeah. We found God, learned lots of scripture, and oh, yeah, we did learn about adult beverages. Well, hey, hope you have a wicked awesome day. An Oklahoma girl, which is basically pff, southern Kansas, same state, really. Well, hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy, and by golly, cheers and beers to you. Next on the list, my man Ken Collier. Here's a badass crew dog I know from exotic Japan. Ken, awesome guy. Brother, always great hearing from you. Hope you're doing well. And uh, definitely miss working with you. Miss the field trips we used to have all over the world. Good times, no doubt about it. Ken, hell of a guy. And brother, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And by golly, cheers and beers to you. Next on the list. Vicky Molnar, a badass crew dog and a teacher, and I work with her down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as West Louisiana. That's right. And uh, Vicky Molnar, a real sweetheart of a lady, absolutely beautiful. I mean, I told you today, Julie, you are very pretty, eh? A little French, eh? Parlez-vous français? Je ne parle pas français très bien. Hmm. I mean, I don't speak French very well. I can speak a little bit, though. But Vicky. Hope you have a wicked awesome day and happy birthday to you. And by golly, celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list, the lovely Alyssa Benoit. Alyssa Benoit, the pride of jolly old England and a fellow mafia et. That's right, we love the mafia wars. And Alyssa, you and I, we, we're pretty crazy, eh? Oh yeah, kind of loco, you know, but hey. I'm married to crazy. Trust me. She's crazy to be married to me. Eh, pretty damn crazy. And Alyssa, you're awesome. And happy birthday to you, my friend. Good hearing from you today. And hope you celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Happy born day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Squeeze me. Next on the list, I've known this lovely lady for over 30 years. Sabrina Leaning. Sabrina, what's going on, girl? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you in a while, so drop me a line. Let me know how I stream you. <coughs> Sabrina's a fine outstanding graduate of Martha's Vineyard Regional High School class of 1990, and she's ultra cool. Vineyard Haven's finest. Mm-hmm. No doubt about that. And uh, Sabrina, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list. Now, a couple of days ago, your birthday appeared on upcoming birthdays, but today it wasn't there. So I'm hoping that it is your birthday, Tawny Allen. Tawny Allen, another Mafia et on the Mafia Wars, a recent addition to the Mafia Wars crew. Hey, we like to whack a lot of people. Lots of fun. Great way of getting rid of pent up frustration. You know, you get home from work, whack a few fools. Have a great dinner. Have a beer and song at a day show. And then you go whack some more fools. Lots of fun. That's right. Well, Tawny, hope you have a wicked awesome day and celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list. The final birthday for today. And a very important one indeed to a ageless wonder. It was nearly a year ago that I was hanging out with her and her wonderful lesser half, Jeff. And I'm talking about you, Maria Fontaine, you gorgeous lady, total sweetheart, wicked awesome mom. Um, Maria, happy birthday to you, the pride of Agawam, Massachusetts. Western Massachusetts is like a whole other state, trust me. You get west of Worcester, it's a whole different state. It really is. But Maria, great hearing from you, total sweetheart. And Jeff... Spoiling your better half. I love it, man. You're taking some love doctor advice. But, hey, you're already good like that. And you made some great spaghetti and gravy. There you go. Hey, you know, it's a it's an Italian thing. You call it gravy. Red gravy, you know? And uh, I get it. I understand. It's not sauce. It's gravy. Hey, you know? So, hey, I'm sure it was awesome. And now you better be massaging your better half. And, you know, you me. remember this there, Jeff. A happy wife makes for a happy life. Trust me. As you well know, you guys have been married forever. 
And uh, an amazing couple, Jeff and Maria Fontaine. I love you guys. Amazing kids, you know, amazing family. To the Fontaine family, the Love Doctor salutes. And Maria, happy birthday, my dear. And I uh, hope you enjoy the show. And finally, I know he's watching in heaven up above. Probably drinking a cheap beer. My late great uncle Tim Baker uh, passed away just two days after turning 45. He passed away March 3rd, uh, February 13th, 2004, at the age of 44. Born February 11th, 1959. My uncle Tim, my youngest of all my aunts and uncles. Uncle Tim, I know you're up there watching, and I love you, and I miss you. Folks, cancer is the devil. It is evil. Cancer deserves a big, fat G-F-Y. And he never smoked either. That's the amazing thing. You know, of all the uncles and aunts and stuff, one of the healthiest ones, it's cancer. Just brutal. It is brutal. But, you know, I know my Uncle Tim's in a better place. And happy birthday, Uncle Tim. Love you, buddy. All right. Well, well, well. We had a couple trivia questions, folks. And I thought they were pretty good. And I think you will, too. The first one. Now, this one was a little confusing. What Australia performer said if they hadn't be, been an actor, they'd be a doctor? Well, see, I had, to, I had to mention to one of my admins. I'm like, hey, you know, when I think actor, I think dude. And when I think actress, I think dudette. And uh, they're like, yeah, you're right. But it's all good. Hey, I've made those mistakes, too. We say, hey, guys, even though we're talking about girls, too, okay? I try not to. I say, hey, folks, you know, and that's what I do. But it is what it is. No big deal. And uh, we got somebody who got the question right because Shauna Radusky. Shauna Radusky said Nicole Kidman. And by golly, Shauna, you are absolutely smart for freaking lutely correct. Wicked awesome job. Big love, Dr. Salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. And uh, cheers and beers. Well done, Shauna. Well done, Nicole Kidman. Dr. Nicole Kidman? Mm hmm. Interesting. And then the other one was a quick, easy one. I came up with this one. What is April's birthstone? And I got to say, thank you, Random Trivia Generator, for that one. Dot com. Well, our super fan, Total Sweetheart, living up in Washington State. Um, Michelle Nix, you know her, you love her, Wicked Hardcore Wisconsin Badgers fan, former Babe of the Day, former Fan of the Week, first ever Fan of the Week on Bear and Song of the Day. Nick, Michelle Nix said the diamond, and you absolutely nailed it. Michelle, wicked awesome job, girl. Hell yeah! There you go, big love, Dr. Salute to you. You've earned more love, Dr. Salutes, than my own wife. What's up with that, huh? Come on! Gotta get my wife into the trivia a little bit more, I guess. Hmm. Well, yeah, <laughs> I stand up and salute to my wife all the time, you know, you, you catch my dude. Yeah, anyway, speaking of our fan of the week, it's time to reveal our fan of the week from last week. And this man shared the show quite a few times, and uh, I appreciate the action, much appreciated, my man, Rich Hollister. Rich is a badass croup dog. I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico. Rich Hollister, the second time you have won Fan of the Week. And brother, well done, my friend. Well done. I'll give you a love dot to salute to you. Here, yeah. There you go, Mr. D. Beefa. There you go. Rich Hollister. Oh, you know what? I grabbed the picture, didn't I? No, I didn't. It'll be in the album later. Don't you worry. I think you're going to like it, Rich. Thanks for sharing, man. Sharing is caring. As long as my wife ain't sharing me, well, that ain't going to happen. I ain't sharing her, so ha! Anyway, there you go, Rich. Well done, my friend. Wicked awesome job. It took almost 20 minutes to get done with all the shout-outs. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. Well, there's a lot going on on today's show, you know. I'm making sure I got everybody. It looks like I did. So, we eat. So, I think it's time... That we bring out our first hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day, Big and A. And I think you ladies and you men that love the men are going to love this guy. One of the best actors I'm aware of. 
This guy's phenomenal. He's handsome. He's just a BMF. A bad move, foo. And this man is, of course, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, as we celebrate Black History Month. That's right, because it ain't just African Americans. It's all black people in the world that I celebrate. I celebrate life every day. And I celebrate all races every day. All sexes, all religions. I don't care. Denzel Washington is our first hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Ooh, hell yeah. So, an amazing actor. Amazing man. And you know what's great? He doesn't play politics like a lot of Hollywood actors and actresses do. And that's good. Because I can't stand it when they think they're political experts. Nope, Denzel actually goes out there and uh, supports the troops that are helping preserve our freedom. So I can do a show like this for all you good folks that are watching. Pretty cool. Denzel Washington, amazing man indeed. Oh, so we got other celebrity birthdays that we might also get to while we're at it. How about Taylor Lautner? Taylor Lautner, 22 years old today. Super babe, uber hot, Jennifer Aniston. That's right, from that show that I thought was overrated, Friends. Jennifer Aniston is 45 years old today. Um, Kelly Rowland, there you go. Kelly Rowland is uh, 33 years old and finer than a new set of snow tires. How about, I'm going to save a birthday, because we actually got a birthday babe for the day that I thought was fitting. Um, we're going to bring out Thomas Alva Edison, of course. He invented the light bulb and a whole lot more. Very famous inventor, born in the state in 1847, passed away in 1931. Uh, Thomas Edison, a legend of a man indeed. Sarah Palin, oh baby. MILF, yep. MILF, politician, Alaska. Yep, very famous politician. And uh, Sarah Palin is 50 years old today. How about that? And oh, by the way, her daughters are stunningly gorgeous. Yeah. Maybe uh, two for Tuesday. I should have Sarah Palin and one of her daughters is um, the two babes of the day. I think that'd be great. A mom and daughter babe of the day. Maybe a father and a son hunk of the day at the same time. What do you think, fans? I want your input on that one. Admins, I hope you're listening. Gidget, Big McLeod, huge. Help me out on that one, will you? I want to know, fans. Should I do a uh, mother-daughter and uh, father-son two for Tuesday sometime? I want your input. Because I'm struggling with the decision. So, Either way, you the fan will help me out. Hey, Cheryl Crow. 52 years old today. Look at that. That's a young picture of Denzel right there. Boys and Girls Club. It's pretty cool, huh? Cheryl Crow, 52 years old today. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, uh, phenomenal actor, famous hunk, famous uh, 70s porn stash. Burt Reynolds is 78 years old. Most famous for Smokey and the Bandit. Um, ooh, Tina Louise. Oh, yeah. Ginger. She was a bimbo, but... By golly, Tina Louise, Gilligan's Island. Would you believe she's 80 years old today now? Wow. Yep, she sure is. Tina Louise, 80 years old. The late, great Leslie Nielsen. Phenomenal actor um, and comedian. Leslie Nielsen, born this day 1926. Passed away 2010. Matt Lawrence, actor, 34 years old today. Ken Shamrock. Walking muscle with a head. Um, UFC fighter. WWE wrestler, Ken Shamrock, 50 years old today, just like Sarah Palin, but she looks a lot better than him, um, at least in my opinion, yeehaw, Jeb Bush, that's right, Jeb Bush, brother of one George W., and uh, son of one George Herbert Walker Bush, Jeb Bush is 61 years old today, Ava Gabor, actress, uh, born this day, 1919, passed away, 1995. Oh, Denzel, why? He's a New York guy. It's okay. When you root for your home team and your home team's the Yankees, I can accept that. I can. That's understandable. Um, Senator Lloyd Benson, born this day, 1921, passed away, 2006. Former vice presidential candidate as well. Blues badass singer Joshua White. Josh White, blues legend. Born 100 years ago on this day in 1914. Passed away in 1969. Much too young. 
Josh White, the singing Christian. Um, Sergio Mendez. Sergio Mendez, 73 years old today, musician. And Bobby Boris Pickett in the Monster Mash. It was a graveyard smash. Bobby Boris Pickett in the Crypt Kicker 5. Bobby Boris Pickett, born this day, 1938, passed away 19, in 2007 at the age of 69. Definitely sorely missed, and he was from Somerville, Massachusetts. That's right. Look at this. Denzel playing as Malcolm X. That was a great movie, by the way. The Malcolm X movie was phenomenal. If you've never seen it, Autobiography of Malcolm X, or Biography of Malcolm X, whatever it was called, great movie, no question about it. May not believe in what Malcolm X believed in. I was more about Martin Luther King than Malcolm X myself. But it was a great movie, and Denzel was incredible. Great soundtrack, too. Uh-oh. Empty as a brain cell than I'm a drink fan. We got a remedy for that. Another beer that's never been on beer and song of the day before. Hell, I just saw this for the first time recently, so I had to pick one up. Buster! Buster Nut Brown Ale! Buster Nut? Mmm, that doesn't that sound kind of... Painful. Um, Ska Brewing Company. I would have thought Jamaica myself because Jamaican Ska from the early 60s is from Jamaica Mon. Ska is Jamaican music. Not modern. Different. Although it, back in the day it had a lot of horns too. Ska Brewing Company. Uh, Buster uh, Buster Nut Brown Ale. Durango, Colorado. 5.4%. Slightly above average in strength. I hope this beer is good. <clears throat> Sweet me. Never had a nut brown ale I didn't like. Shut up. Stop thinking dirty, people. Right beer opening up brass proper technique. Here we go. Ooh, and a good pop, too. 45 degree angle right in there. Big assumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Haven't spilled a drop yet. Never have, never will. Mmm. You know what? I just realized birthday girl Larissa was actually with me the day that I bought this beer consumption apparatus. That's kind of cool. Alright. Well, cheers the best all of you pros they say in Germany, goodbye as they say in Japan. It's a good beer. I've had better nut brown ales. I've had worse. I will give it a B. Good beer. B is good. And that's good beer. I like it. Alright. Well, I think it's time we get some music going up in this song beach. I think you've been wanting to hear some music too. And I love this song. I never heard it. I've had it for a long time. Hadn't listened to it. Folks, I love me some old school Calypso music. And this one is a damn good one. The song is called Woman is Not the Weaker Sex. I can vouch for that. Us men can't give child birth, but women can. Uh, the song is by Attila, April 2nd, 1941. How about that? This song is almost 73 years old. And I think if we're going to play some good music, we got to bring out a good babe of the day, you know. This lovely lady... Don't know why I haven't featured her sooner. How about actress Thandie Newton? T-H-A-N-D-I-E. Thandie Newton. And yes, there's nudies out there of her. I know. I've got some. So let's show off the lovely, gorgeous Thandie Newton. As we listen to some Calypso music from 1941. Hi, Attila. Don't mind the face we look in us and they hold you in a king so also ball for punishment. Come on! Ooh, naked. And I can say you saw a naked woman on Bearing Song of the Day. Of course, no um, private parts visible. I love this picture. I love it, I love it, I love it. She's so gorgeous there. 
Oh, Clavage, French for cleavage. Beautiful man, beautiful. They appear so soft, so meek and me. But it's when you meet them in a gymnasium that you realize how they're vigorous and strong. And in the end, when you meet with them, you either shock you and surprise you for the balance of your life. Very unique instrumental breaks. Very unique lady. I don't know what nationalities she is, but looks like black and Asian to me. And I'm digging it. Mixed babies are so beautiful. My daughter's a mixed baby. I'm Irish, English, German, and Greek. My wife's Mexican. So therefore, my daughter's Irish, English, German, Greek, and Mexican. Oh! Got a lot hotter in this room, I think I know why. Sandy Newton, shame on you. You're too fine. She hot, real hot, damn hot. Gorgeous, yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Good God. Big boy, I kicked myself. <clears throat> damn. Mm -hmm. Almost done with the pictures of the lovely actress Sandy Newton. Ain't that beautiful? Hot diggity dog damn, you know it is. That's why the love doctor's got 2015 eyesight. He knows. He sees beauty. He knows beauty. Hell, he's married to beauty. Damn right. Married to the most gorgeous woman in the world. And my love goddess makes beautiful babies. That's why I got the most beautiful daughter in the world. She definitely doesn't get it from me. Oh, slippage. Mm -hmm. Oh, slightly see-through, eh? Mm-hmm. It's all right. I don't mind. And odds are the viewer doesn't either. <whistles> Good God. All right. I think it's time we bring out our second hunk of the day, and this one ought to conjure up some memories for all y'all. We all love Theo Huxtable. That's right. The one, uh, the one son who had three um, sisters on the Cosby Show. Love that show. Used to watch it every Thursday. NBC TV. Um, Malcolm Jamal Warner. Malcolm Jamal Warner. Born August 18, 1970. Theo Huxtable. Definitely awesome. Malcolm Jamal Warner. Great actor. And uh, definitely hilarious. Looking pretty darn good for his age, too. Not bad for 43 and a half years old, huh? Now, a year ago today, um, citing frail health, Pope Benedict XVI announces his resignation effective February 28, 2013. Um, the German Pope was the first Pope to resign since Pope Gregory XII in 1415. Now, Fortunately, Pope Benedict XVI is still alive. But, you know, he became Pope at the age of 78. Why are he so old, you know? At that age, what's the point in becoming Pope? You're only going to be Pope for a few years, I guess. I don't know. But, hey, he's, 77, he's 87 years old, almost 88 now. So, frail health. Interesting. I say in 2006, speaking of frail health, uh, Dick Cheney, Vice President Dick Cheney, accidentally shoots his friend, in a hunting accident. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Nelson Mandela. We know he just recently passed away. The, man, the stuff that that man stood up for was truly incredible. The late, great Nelson Mandela. 
a political prisoner for 27 years, was finally freed in South Africa, February 11, 1990. He had been prisoner since late 1962. British Airways on this day in 1987. A friend of mine was born that day. British Airways begins trading stocks. Cool. On this day in 1977. 20.2 kilogram lobster. Holy shit, that's a huge lobster. No kidding. Caught off in Nova Scotia, Canada, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Canada indeed. Folks, that is a big damn lobster. That's like well over 40 pounds. About a 42 pound lobster, 44 pound lobster, something like that. Hey, right, there's the Theo Huxtable we all know and love growing up. That's right. Um. By the way, that lobster was the heaviest known crustacean. Wow. Now you know. So you learn something new on Beer and Song of the Day. Otherwise, it's a day wasted. Isaiah 1976. Clifford Alexander Jr. confirmed as the first black secretary of the Army. Another big milestone. Awesome stuff. Honest Day in 1968. This one's interesting. Jeffrey Kramer survives a 76-meter jump. Basically about 230 feet. Off the Washington Bridge, Hudson River, New York. Guess it wasn't your time to go yet there, eh, buddy? Honest day in 1968 as well. Madison Square Garden. The third Madison Square Garden cl closes as MSG4 opens in New York City. Madison Square Garden. They've used that name since the late 1800s. Pretty cool. Honest day in 1962. Speaking of pretty cool. Uh, the day that Tori Amos was born, the Beatles recorded their first major hit, Please Please Me, recorded on this day, February 11th, 1962. On this day, 1958, first ever flight with a black stewardess, Ruth Carol Taylor, Ithaca, New York. Wow. On this day, 1942, I didn't know this um, comic was this old, Archie comic book debuts. Honestly, 1935, definitely a cold day here. 11, days below, 11 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, 24 below zero Celsius. Ephraim, Morocco, African record low. Didn't know it got below zero in Africa, eh? Now you do. Not often, though. Honest day in 1932, 70, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, highest recorded temperature ever in Cleveland in February. I was in 1899, 61 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, Montana, record low temperature. Brrr. On his day in 1895, 17 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, 27.2 below zero Celsius, Braemar, Grampian, United Kingdom record, UK record. Boy, that's freaking cold, probably in Wales. Oh man, probably either Wales or Scotland. I was in 1878, the first... United States Bicycle Club forms. Where at? Boston, Massachusetts, baby. That's right. On this day, also in 1878, the um, the first weekly weather report published in the United Kingdom. That's pretty cool. Um, on this day in 1809, Robert Fulton patents the steamboat. I'll drink to that. And finally, on this day in 1752, Pennsylvania Hospital, the first hospital in the United States, opens. Way to go, Pennsylvania. You reek of awesomeness. Oh, speaking of reeking of awesomeness, it is time to bring you a 35-year-old birthday babe. It's her birthday today. She's a beautiful, sexual, chocolate black woman. Um, great singer. Great actress. Stunningly gorgeous. Folks, this girl, <whistles> yeah, baby, Brandy Norwood, and we're going to bring out one more great song. The song is called Who's Been Fooling You from September 25th, 1955, Big Boy Miles and the Shawees. This is what real um, New Orleans style rhythm and blues, specialty records, rhythm and blues, this is what Rhythm and Blues is all about. This is my version of Rhythm and Blues. Real R&B. That's a pretty baby right there. Brandy Norwood. Good God. Moesha. 
No. Oh, yeah. She was Moesha, wasn't she? Or my name's Tia and Tamara Maori. I can't remember. I don't follow this modern shit, okay? I should have been born in 1938, graduated in 56. My preferred music era is 1947 to 63, all right? But I'll tell you what. Brandy, I know about her. I know she's gorgeous. Smoking hot. Hot! Real hot! Damn hot! I'm like Randy Watson in uh, Come to America. Sexual chocolate. That's a nice instrumental break. Some guitar. Uh oh, message. Woo! Nice assets. That's booty. Beautiful. Look at that smile. I know, I've heard people say, damn, she got a big mouth. <laughs> Good. I'll drink to that. I love that picture. I apologize for the la for the lackluster lighting. Damn, damn girl, you got money. We can afford to get the rest of your pants if you want. Never understood the point of where buying people will actually buy clothes that have holes in them. Why? You want holes in your clothes? Shit, I'll get a pair of scissors and cut some holes for you. It's a lot cheaper that way. I mean, geez. Yeah. Damn. Whew. Smoking. Stunningly gorgeous. Yowza, baby. Yeah. I think the temperature in this room rose about 5 degrees since I started the show today. Good God. Brandy Norwood, absolutely gorgeous. We haven't heard negative things about her. The woman can sing. The woman can act. The woman is gorgeous. I already said that. I can say it again. Damn. Hot. Real hot. Damn hot. 35 men alive. And if you don't think she's pretty, you need to have your eyes checked, folks. Just saying. That is a pretty lady. Damn, look at them boots or shoes or whatever they are. Good God. My wife's got, my wife probably would like that. Wife's got over 400 pairs of shoes. She's like a um, cheaper version of a Melda Marcos. Well, my wife has all the money in the world. You can, I, I don't, my wife, you can't buy that one. Mm -mm. But oh, oh my God. <sighs> Dude. Damn, 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 damn. Brandy Norwood, you are truly a talent and just happen to be gorgeous as well. I will drink to that. Squeeze me. Well, that's it for the pictures. That's it for the music. That's it for the show. And it's fitting to be it for the beer. Mm-hmm. Empty as a brain cells on an average New York Jets fan. Average. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, time to make like a fetus to head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't take a drive my spirit drink. I might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking or driving is dumber than being a Yanks fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for puking festive goober schnitzels like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady. And you can't have Elite without Eli. Eli. Well, guess what? You can't have Eliminator without Eli either. Manning. Or men slapping women. Or animal abuse. Or racism. Or people that welts on pets. Or fake friends. Or anybody that supports the fans. Or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat G-F-Y. Folks, I'm out of y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Bye. Tomorrow is Yeehaw Western Wednesday, and Thursday is Thrash Metal Thursday. <laughs> Squeeze me.